In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use macros to help you review student work. The macros we're going to create for this video are going to be icons or pictures. You can also use keyboard strokes uh, for them, but for right now, I want to use the icons because I think actually they're more fun and easier to use. To make sure we can have macros appear, we need to have a developer tab up here. If you do not see the word developer, click the Microsoft Office icon, go down to Word Options. In the center, you see Show Developer tab in the ribbon. Put a check mark there and say OK. I'm going to go to a blank sheet of paper and you'll see that the Developer tab appears up here. If we click on the Developer tab, you'll see there's options for macros. We're going to concern ourselves with Record Macro. Just click it and we get a window that says Record Macro. We need to give the macro a name and we're going to give our first macro the name of typo. Simple. So we can identify when a student's made a typo or a proofreading error. We're going to give it a button and it appears in a new window called Customize the Quick Access Toolbar. Quick, quick Access Toolbar are those icons that we see over here. They might appear on your screen up there, easily moved up and down with this arrow, like Save, Undo, Redo. Let's add our typo to that list. I don't think I'll remember what that icon means with the three squares. So I'm going to modify that icon. I need to find something that's going to help me remember a typo. Um, this screen has got a lot of icons. You can't make it bigger, but I can use an X here. So I'm going to give that an X. I'm going to say OK. And now my typo appears. Now don't type anything on the screen until you're ready to actually create the macro. You can see you're actually recording because there's a little tape recorder symbol there, the old cassette player. So anything I type now will be my shortcut for identifying a typo. So I'm just going to type in typo, please proofread. And that's all. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to go to the next line and see if it works by clicking on my X. And there it is, typo, please proofread. Let's do another one. I'm going to record a macro this time called APA for APA errors. I'm going to again give it a button, put it in my quick access toolbar, add it. Again, I don't like that particular icon. What can I use that would help me to remember APA? Well, the letter A is right here. That seems pretty simple enough. Of course, you can choose whatever you want. Click OK. Click OK. And let's type the macro. And I'm going to say C. APA 6th edition. I'm going to stop my recording. Let's go to the next line and test it. My A. And we'll do one more together. Let's record another macro. This one will be if a student forgets to cite something properly. So I'm going to say, call it just citation. You can only put one word in that line. Word, um, Microsoft Office will not accept more than one word here. I'm going to give it a button. Move citation to my list of icons. Again, I don't think I'm going to remember that. What can I use to help me remember a citation is needed? Well, there's a little person here. I'll do that since uh, citation means author. OK. OK. And I'm going to type citation is needed to support this statement. I'm going to stop my recording. Go to the next line. Just see if it works. Click on my little person. And there it is. Now, let's try these in action. Let's go to a paper here that has a bunch of errors in it and see if we can use these. Now, I'm going to be using the Microsoft Office Track Changes Reviewing feature, which is not discussed in this video, but um, it is expected you would know that. The shortcut for adding the balloon comments is to click Control Alt and the letter M together. That gives me a balloon comment I could put right here. Well, I'm not going to use that one right now, but I do see an APA error on the top line. And I'm going to highlight that one. Of course, you can use your reviewing feature up here also and add a new comment that way. But I like the shortcut of Control Alt and the letter M together. And I need to tell my student that that is not an APA, but rather than type it out every time, I'm just going to click my A, and there it is, CAPA sixth edition. I also found the same thing here, and I could you know make the same the same comment for the student right there with an A. The student also had a couple of typos. Um, let's find one right here. In study dissertation school to achieve academic and be socially doesn't seem to make sense to me. Looks like a typo. Let's tell the student he has or she has a typo. 
typo. Please proofread. And finally, down here, there's a statement that definitely needs to be substantiated from the literature. So I'm going to highlight that again or click new comment and click my little person and say citation is needed to support this statement. Just a bit of advice. If you see something in the paper that looks wrong, don't highlight it and put the comment right there or you'll get the comment in the middle of the text. For example, the word persistent is there as a typo. I want to click my X. What I get is they have typo, please proofread. That does not make sense there. Clearly, it has to be over in the comment section right there. Well, I hope this little video has helped you in reviewing papers and uh, have a great day.